From toys and tech to clothes and cars, many American staples, of course, are still made in China. But the deadly coronavirus outbreak is causing a huge supply chain stutter. China is responsible for driving around a fifth of global economic growth. So the fact that we're seeing factories shut down, consumers staying at home and not able to spend money, that all means that we can expect to see the global economy also take a hit. Despite an ongoing trade war, China is still the United States' largest trading partner. But American businesses and consumers are now starting to see the coronavirus ripple effect. On Monday, Apple became the first major U.S. company to announce it won't meet its revenue projections for this financial quarter. China makes 80 percent of the world's smartphones and tablets, and iPhone production has fallen victim to the outbreak break. Over 1 million Amazon sellers who depend on factory workers in China for their small business marketplaces are now facing serious inventory shortages as well. And apparel companies are bracing for a financial hit and significant delivery delays. Under Armour CEO telling CNBC he's expecting a $60 million loss for the start of the year. Cars are not doing any better. Many Chinese auto plants, including factories run by Tesla, Ford and Nissan, have all shut down. And as goods bound for the U.S. remain stuck in Chinese docks, analysts say shoppers might start seeing items missing from big box store shelves as early as April. For consumers fearing packages from China could get them sick, the CDC says coronavirus is spread through respiratory droplets and generally has poor survivability on surfaces, although there is more to learn. You have to be within three to six feet of an actively infected, coughing, sneezing person to actually catch the infection. But the Chinese government is telling banks there to disinfect cash before giving it to the public. Meanwhile, industries like travel and tourism are bracing for impact. Nearly 3 million Chinese tourists visit the U.S. every year, adding $35 billion to the U.S. economy. California, which has a high volume of Chinese tourists every year, could lose a billion dollars in revenue this year alone. And images of quarantined cruise ships and flights now making many second guess traveling anywhere this spring. Definitely not now with the risk of the coronavirus. Cruise and airline prices plummeting in response to the drop in demand. But a bright spot for intrepid travelers unafraid to venture out. Okay, just underscoring the economic impact here, the pilots unions for FedEx and UPS have reached agreements with those carriers to allow those pilots to decline trips to China if those pilots are concerned about being exposed to the virus. Listen, the longer this lasts, the greater the economic impact worldwide, and we simply don't have a good handle on it yet. Guys, back to you.